What's going on, everybody? Hey, guys. This is Leroy. And Jamie. And we are... New Adventures. Today, we're home. Home, baby. In New Orleans, in, in the New big Orleans, easy. Town, but we here. Yes, yes. We're we're in the land of the lazy Le Bon Ton Roulette, you the know? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna, all started. Exactly. So we're going to take y'all on like a little... We're going to do a little tourist vlog. You know, just let you know some things you could do if you come to downtown New Orleans. For sure. And we might grab some beignets. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? You know, the real beignets. The real beignets, you know, <laughs> nothing, nothing against Disneyland. They, their, their beignets are good too, but there's nothing like home, you know. Like home. So, let's do this. Let's get into this. Let's let, 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 let's, let us take you around our neighborhood. Let's Come go. On, let's go. Let's get it. So right now we are on Canal Street, all the way down there, all the way down there, and. It is. Wow, a little Wayne sculpture right up in that restaurant. Uh, you know that New Orleans is the original town of Popeyes. Like, this is where Popeyes came from. And this Popeyes right here on Canal Street is the best Popeyes in the world. In the world. In the world. Like, not even just us saying that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's actual facts. Like, that's the best Popeyes in the world. And it's close. Dang. It's close. Like, like, it's really close. I think they're remodeling it. Because they can't shut this one down. This one makes the most money. Yeah. This is the money maker. This is definitely a money maker, and I see why because it's the best. It's the greatest Popeyes in the world. Sorry about that noise, y'all. Right, this right here is Palace Cafe. Jamie used to work here. Oh, What's up? So they remodeled Palace Cafe right here. Jamie, you want to tell them a little uh, history on it? Well, Dickie Brennan's Palace Cafe is, in fact, in relation to Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen in Anaheim in downtown Disney. Exactly. They are cousins, first cousins. He is a Brennan's through and through. So if you ever are in town, check out Palace. Palace is pretty good. Right. I used to work here as a hostess, a hostess with the most. Yeah, but it is a very, very good restaurant. If you want contemporary Creole cuisine, that is yes. a tongue twister if I have ever <laughs> Right. That right there is the Sheraton Hotel. That's where I had my senior prom. Like right there in one of the ballrooms. Yes, that's where my senior prom was. I went to, yeah, yeah. I went to McDonald's 35, senior high school, the best high school in the world. <laughs> you went to Xavier Prep that doesn't exist it's anymore. X, it's just Xavier Prep. The X is Xavier University Preparatory High School. Thank you very much. It's Xavier Prep. Xavier University Preparatory High School. Uh-huh. So we're still on Canal Street. We're pretty much at the end of Canal Street right here. That's the Harris Casino. Very, very nice casino. Now, if you look off in the distance, you see the Hilton Hotel crazy story about the Hilton Hotel. That's actually where I went to school. That's where I went to college. So after Katrina, our college campus, I went to Dillon University, our college campus was flooded out. So they actually rented out the Hilton. Well, not the whole Hilton, but most of it, I guess. And we actually had school in there. So the conference rooms, they partitioned those off into, um, into classrooms, right? They partitioned those off into classrooms and that's what we were having a class at and the hotel room was our dorm room. We also had some classes in that building right there. That's the World Trade Center. We had classes up in, you know, both of those buildings. So it isn't anymore, it is the Four Seasons. Yeah, it's the Four Seasons now, but at the time, this was back in 2006, um, it was the World Trade Center. So that's a fun fact. I went to school in a hotel. Right now we're walking up South Peters. North Peters. North Peters, my bad. We're walking up North Peters. Canal Street is down that way, so we came all this way. You know, you have a little shopping over here. You got Urban Outfitters, got Vans. H&M is a little further down that way. And right here, you could go on some tours. Air Bowl Swamp, City Katrina, Ghost of Voodoo, Plantation. It is all very fascinating. But what's crazy is I'm from here and I've never been on a swamp tour, go figure. But we, you did a ghost tour? I did a ghost tour too. Yeah, I did a ghost tour once. It was actually pretty interesting. Yeah. I went with my school, like we went and we did it for like, I guess like a history project, but it was very interesting. So yeah. I definitely highly recommend going on a ghost tour because yes, it, the rumors are true if they're even rumors. New Orleans is very haunted. <laughs> New Orleans is very haunted and spooky. It's a spooky city, however, it ain't that bad. People be like, oh, spirit, spirits, nah. Like, it, it's not that bad. But yes, it is a very haunted city. All of this, this area is most likely haunted so <laughs> if you're into that this is the place to come like the tours are good the tour guides are awesome they're knowledgeable so do that yeah and also that sound you hear that music you hear is the ferry boats over there 
Right on Actually, the river. That's not the ferry boat. That is a ferry boat, that's ain't it? That's not the ferry boat. Well, what is the ferry it, Jamie? Boat is over there. Well, not ferry boat. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, the paddle boats, the river boats. The river boats. And we're going to go up there because it kind of reminds us of the river boats in, uh, what is that, New Orleans Square. This is, so we're going to go up there and show you which boat that is. Across the street over there, you can see the horses and the horse carriages. And that's right in front of the St. Louis Cathedral. Yeah, the cars are kind of blocking it right now. But yeah, you have the horses and the horse carriages. You, you can go on a nice those, ride. Yeah, rentals and drive around the French Quarter. You can run them to drive yourself? No, the guy's going to drive. <laughs> he'll drive, you know, ride you around the French Quarter and get a nice tour of that. You know, if you can rent, every, it would be something if you, instead of you instead of you renting a car, you could rent a horse carriage with the horse and everything. You could drive the horse. No, I wouldn't want to do that. You have to be a professional. Person. Uh -huh. you, horses are hard to handle. But they are really cool and gentle. They're sweet, sweet animals. And these rides are really fun. I would suggest doing this as well yeah. for like a little touristy New Orleans. That right there, my friends, is the St. Louis Cathedral. And that's, that's all the horses and we were Jackson telling you about. Square. And this is, yes, in Jackson Square. Very, very, very historical church. Yes. Beautiful and on, on the inside. And they have, they have live mass too. You can go have uh, mass with your family. So I just want to experience church there you can go i think they do it every day if i'm not mistaken at a certain time yeah but yeah and also if you come down let's come down a little bit ah come down come down come down right there you might not well okay the big tree's in the way but that's cafe dumont right there which is where we'll be going to get some beignets washington artillery park and if you come across here now you're on the river you can see boats pushing barges you see the Algiers Ferry. And this right here is the moonwalk. No Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, this my friends is the river. So that right there is a steamboat that we told you about earlier. That's a steamboat right there. That's the Mississippi River Bridge, which leads to the West Bank. And right there, all the way out there in the distance is Algiers Point. Over there, you can see a battleship. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. That's the battleship. Yeah, well, we that's not Algiers Point where the um, battleship is, but that's Algiers Point right there. We used to live in Algiers, too. Cross the river. Cross the river. That's what we call Cross the River, a.k.a. the West Bank. Yes, yes. The best bank, Jamie? I would consider it. No, nah, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's not. She's a West Bank girl. Disagree. I, she's a She's a West Bank girl. I'm an East Bank guy. We can guy. agree to disagree. We'll agree to disagree. Here go the locks. Hang a lock there for you and your significant other. You know, I, I've never seen it either. Let me, I'm not going to act like I know what this is. I've never seen this before either. But it's nice. Yeah. Jamie, I just don't know you. Shush. How oh, you rent the boat out? So yeah, this is the city of New Orleans. Boat. <laughs> Steamboat. That was right there. Hi, Leroy. Hey, what's going on? finally made the Cafe Du Mont. Here's your menu. You have your coffee, you have your beignets. I'm gonna get me an order of beignets, of course, and I'm gonna get me a Cafe au lait. Jamie's gonna get the same. Well, she's not gonna get the Cafe au lait. She's not a big coffee person. I am, but I just don't want coffee. You never want coffee. She's probably gonna get an orange juice or something. Oh, give me a medium. Look, got the beignets already. So we have our beverages, our coffee and our orange juice and our beignets. And Jamie, Yes. You made a mistake. What did I do? Just take one lucky guess of what a mistake that you made. So you're about to eat some beignets, and, and what I'm do you have black. on? No, you're wearing black. Mistaken. Wearing black is like the worst thing that you could do black shirt, when you eat beignets. Pants, worst. Yes, yeah, so you made a big mistake I, I by did. wearing black. So. I'm going to be wearing beignet powder all day. So we're going to do a challenge. We're going to see if Jamie could eat beignets without, without, getting, powder <laughs> without getting powder all over her. We're challenge going to see. Separate. Yes, let's see what we can do. And look at her, look at her. You can't cheat, you cheating. You are cheating. You said I, you said. 
Uh huh. You're cheating. Uh huh. You're cheating. Let me see. Let me see. That's the stuff right there. Yeah, you shake it up. That's what you do. You shake it up in the bag. Make sure that powder, the powdery goodness, gets all over all the beignets. Whatever you do, don't inhale. Yeah, do not. <laughs> Do not inhale. Let me show y'all. Ooh, it's nice. Ooh, it's hot. It's so yes. Hot. There it is. Nice. This one don't have enough. Flaky. Have enough. So look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare these to Disneyland beignets. Ooh, so, it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is when they be so crispy. Yeah. This don't count. Ah, uh, see, there she go. Ah, uh, look, already. There it, it is. Count. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. I see the biggest difference with ben well Disneyland beignets as opposed to beignets here is um, you know just the way that the actual beignet is. Yeah, it's more fried hard, but I will say that the beignets at Disneyland are more hollow. Like, you know, you yeah. take a you know you take a bite out of it, and then you know you just look on the inside and like really nothing's in there. Yeah. Where these are kind of like more like cakey. You know, you have more. You know, yeah. See, this is the inside of a Cafe Dumont beignet. Or a New Orleans beignet. Yeah, it's more cakey on the inside. Whereas in Disneyland, it's a bit more hollow. Like, you bite into it, there's not really much in there, you know. But it's still good, but it's just different. And then these are fried a little harder also. It's a bit more crispier. And it goes well with your Cafe au lait. Sometimes I like to dip it. Perfect combination. And then you can actually sit right here at a table. And there's live music right now. You never know. On any street corner you turn on, you can find live music. But definitely at Cafe Du Monde. And enjoy your vineyards, your coffee, and hear some authentic live New Orleans music. And like I said, on any street corner, you might find somebody playing music. I know you hear the music in the background. No, that is not added music. Someone's actually playing live right next to exactly. us. Exactly. So Somebody's playing the trumpet. You just never know the magic you might the magic <laughs> the magic you might experience in New Orleans. And I would assume that those beignets would be how Tiana's beignets would taste. Yeah. Authentic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Authentic. Yes. yes. Once again, no shade to Disneyland. They tried hard. And I, I appreciate it because it brings me good, warm, fuzzy home feelings. Yes, so exactly. I appreciate that. So right now we're about to go to the French market. Yes. We'll just show you around. No, no sugar on me. So um, so I, I know y'all seen in the video, you know, I showed y'all that she had sugar on her sleeve, I, so she it? did not, because she wiped it, it off. I, there I showed is no you, wiping you know, videos, videos don't lie. She wiped it off. There is so no she wiping. Lost the challenge. There is no wiping. Uh huh. Sugar, she just shouldn't have worn a black shirt. I mean, I have a black and gray shirt on, so I didn't do too much better, but I ain't getting on me either. Talk to uh huh. You can buy all types of things here, jewelry, all types of souvenirs, photos, snacks, you can get your pralines, they get palm candies here, they look delicious too, wine, beer, because you know what guys, you can actually walk around and drink out here we don't have liquor laws you can buy liquor any any time of the day any day of the week walk around with it as long as you are safe and not put anyone else in danger indulge over here you get your nice cajun spices and everything for some real new orleans cooking there's a lot of good eateries in here new orleans food eateries you can't really you can't really go wrong as far as eateries here yeah smells you know they have the best cooking out here in New Orleans, definitely. You can even get some crepes. Get some shrimp tacos, crepes. Get your Mardi Gras mask, Mardi Gras beads, all the jewelry vendors. This is where you get all of your souvenirs and takeaways and things like that. Beautiful stuff. T-shirts, artwork prints, hats, because you might need a hat. Picture of it when we get back. Get your Mardi Gras mask and your bees here. Mardi Gras bees down there. Special ones, mask over here. 
construction, nice little artwork, all kinds of stuff here. See jewelry right there. More Mardi Gras mask and bees over there. More artwork over here. So look, we just missed it, Leroy. They did the Soul of Jazz and American Adventure out here. Like, yeah. How did we miss that? I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, I knew we should have came out here a week earlier. We would have caught it. Yeah, it was. October well, maybe a couple of weeks earlier, something like that. But yeah, we should have came out here earlier. I we would have caught that. I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah. Beautiful. You won't find it like this nowhere else. Maybe in France. Maybe in France. Maybe in France. But you know, this is a French city, so that only makes sense. We've reached Royal Street. Now this right here. This is the New Orleans Square inspiration. Yes. I think this Royal Street, it was inspired by Royal Street. Right. A lot of similarities. Well, obviously. One day I want to buy one of these, definitely. Well, one day I'm going to buy one of these. This is the Rodrigue Studio, home of the Blue Dog. So the thing about the Blue Dog is they are like all over the city in different places there's, there's the blue dog and then there's bee dogs if like you're in certain areas you may just like randomly come across this random painting of a blue dog and that is where it comes from so if you're in the city and you just happen to like stumble across some random area and there's a random blue dog that's where you came from so it looks like they are doing some filming here i'm not sure what they're filming but they're filming it in what's that hotel again jamie oh the omni hotel and resorts right over here on Royal Street. Here's all the beautiful jewelry right here. We're still on Royal Street. You can get some nice glasses over here. Yeah. Some nice New Orleans themed glasses. Mm -hmm. These are actually really nice. Yeah, they are nice. Oh, vintage just, Chanel. Oh, vintage Chanel. That's, that's Jamie's favorite thing right here. Yes, I love vintage this Chanel. It's a beautiful. Uh huh. This is really cool. I'm not even gonna plead myself and ask how much it is. All right, so we made our way back to Jackson Square. And as you can see, more live music. Second line bands, we're about to play Louis Cathedral. There's tarot reading, if you're into that. I ain't into that palm reading stuff, but there's a lot of like tarot readers and palm readers and stuff like that. So if you wanna come down here and get a reading, there it is. There it is right there. And there we have it guys. That's just a little taste of New Orleans. Just a little taste. There's, there's a whole lot more to this city than we can capture in one vlog. And we will capture more of it in future vlogs. Definitely, so but, stay tuned. Yes, exactly. We just decided to give a quick little run through the French Quarter. Yeah. You know, just get some beignets, some coffee. Enjoy the beautiful and weather. The it beautiful. feels amazing. Exactly, it's the great small. music. Now normally, like, there's not cloud in the sky right now. We used to it being cloudy out here, rainy and all that other stuff, but right now, Today, say it's rainy all the time. No, it's rainy all the time. It is not well, rainy well, all the time. well, mainly, mainly New during does, like spring, New Orleans is a summer. Place that does have some nice weather. It's not California weather by far, but we do have nice weather. It's sometimes. not always. Sometimes. Rain. sometimes. It rains a lot here, yeah. but it ain't always rain. Sometimes. It's beautiful here. Like today is gorgeous. It's sunny. Um, it kind of feels like fall, but with a summer twist. I don't know what that's called. Yeah. I don't know, but it's just, it just got that vibe. Like it, it looks like summer, but it kind of feels like fall. You all you need is a sweater, not really a jacket. You really don't even need a sweater. It's just, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's breezy. It's just feels good. Crisp. Feels That's good. That's the word I'm looking for. It's crisp. But yeah, this was just a little taste of New Orleans. Just a, little a little taste. Little you know, small. just a couple things to do if you're ever in the French Quarter. But there's still uptown. There's still, there's still so much more that we want to cover, and we're gonna cover once again in future vlogs. Mm -hmm. May not be, may not be right now, right now, but. 
we have some big stuff coming up planned, so yeah. definitely stay tuned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Leave us a comment. Yes. And yeah, man, stick around for the madness. We got more to offer. Definitely. So until next time, from the city of New Orleans, Lizzie LeBonton Roulette.